everyone. Thanks for joining me today. I have a basket of donuts. I, <laughs> I can't stop making these things. They're so fun to make. Uh, anyway, I wanted to... <laughs> uh, sorry, I'm a little giddy with these donuts. Uh, anyway, I wanted to show you uh, the, the size that I started making was this size here. And it's kind of big. And then... They, they started getting smaller <laughs> uh, and I kind of went to like this size next and then I went to this size and I'll show you uh, the sizes all together uh, next to each other so you can kind of get a different gauge of the sizes and then I went a little smaller and then this one is so darn cute. This one's even smaller. And then look at this one <laughs> I made tonight. And he's just so cute. He, it, is just so cute. So I'm going to angle my camera down so you can kind of see the different sizes of my donuts. And the reason I'm showing you these is because I made a card with a donut on it. <laughs> So there are the donuts. See how big this one was? Oh, actually, this one is a little bit bigger. And then they started getting smaller. Look how cute. I just can't get over it. This, this one is so little. I don't know if you can get a gauge of the small size of that one. I mean, look, compared, right? All right, let's see. So, oh, there we go. You can get a, a better idea. God, my lighting's terrible. Of the sizes. I have a big shadow. Um, so anyway, there's the donuts. Let me put them back in their little basket. On some of them, I still have to add the sprinkles. But anyway, I made a card using the tilde paper let's see i'm trying to angle my there we go maybe that's a little better sorry guys it's late and i'm trying to get this film so i can show you guys anyway i i made a uh, an easel card and what i use as my um background papers are this card background paper pad and it is perforated in the center it's a, a 6 by 12 and it, it's meant to be folded and you have a uh, double-sided card but what I do is I cut it in half and uh, I use it for my back piece and then my lower piece on my easel card so the card I'm going to show you, I used that, and then I also used uh, the Tiny Treasures, and I used the teacups that are in this. I used one of the large ones on the left, and then a small one on the right. So I, that's what I used. And here's my card. <laughs> okay. Let me see if I can get it further back. All right, so this is a shaker card. And uh, I cut this with my Spellbinder dies. And I nested two together, the larger one and then the smaller one. So it cut this oval piece. And I used Fun Foam to uh, make it deep enough so that I can get these coffee beans in there. So that is the part of my shaker are the coffee beans. Now, I did use uh, a second piece of acetate in the very back, so it's actually sandwiched between uh, the fun foam and the two pieces of acetate because uh, I wasn't sure if the beans would uh, have oil on them and get onto my card, so I sealed them between the two pieces of acetate and then the fun foam in between and then white cardstock on the top. So that's how I did that. And then um, behind the 
uh, acetate, the one in the back, I added my teacup. So the teacup is actually adhered to the paper and then the sandwiched acetate with the, uh, with the beans. And then I added another cup here. And this is the paper that I was showing you for the 6x12 paper pad that I cut in half. So I added that there. And then uh, the uh, other piece is down here. Now I did have a stamp that had uh, coffee beans. So I stamped that along on a piece of this uh, uh, tilde paper that I used one of my scallop punches on. So I colored those in with my Copics. And then I added a cluster of flowers up here. And then I added this. Um, this is actually a uh, cupcake liner that you can get at Michael's. Um, I haven't seen them in a while, so uh, I'm hoarding a few of these. So I decided to use it on this card because it looks so pretty. And then uh, I also had a little stamp that says, How have you been? B E A N. So, and there I added my little uh, donut to this side. And I did attach it with uh, some removable, um, uh, what do you call those, uh, removable dots, uh, adhesive dots. So that way, uh, if somebody wants to take that off and uh, maybe make a, an ornament out of it or hang it up, um, they can still do that. So there's my card using the Tilda 6x12 background paper and also the uh, teacups from Tiny Treasures. And thanks everybody for watching and I hope you like it and take care.